Good morning and welcome to the Gospel of Luke. Today we're going to flip over another chapter. We're in chapter 22 now, verses 1 and 2. And we're kind of shifting now to this plot to kill Jesus. Let's see what happens next. Now the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew near, which is called Passover. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Okay, so let's give some thought to this, right? There's a major events coming up, Passover and all that, and they can't, they just can't bear it that he's out there teaching. He's even teaching in the temple now. It just, they hate it. And I want you to notice that it's not one group. There are the chief priests and the scribes written down here. So they're combining together. They are plotting to murder him. Now, the Ten Commandments says, thou shalt not kill, right? Okay, so go to Exodus 20, read your Ten Commandments there. Thou shalt not kill. You are not supposed to murder. In killing is wrong, okay? Fair enough. These people are the people who were supposed to be the guardians of that truth, the truth of God's character, which he put into his Ten Commandment law. And certainly killing and murder is the last thing they should be doing, but they are now plotting how they can kill Jesus. By the way, what evil has Jesus done to them? Jesus has only stood for the truth of God. Jesus has only uh, been good. He's only tried to teach them. He's only, but they've been stuck. Their authority is going away and they're full of frustration and rage because Jesus is impacting their, their authority. And instead of repenting and turning and, and coming to a better place with God and doing what they should do, they're determined to keep that. And so they're going to plot against him for all their worth. So they're going to plot against him for all their worth. Now I want you to notice what we have here, the last piece of verse 2. The chief priests and the scribes sought how they might kill him. They're figuring out how to do the murder. And the last line, for they feared the people. There it is, you see. There's the motivation. They are concerned that they're losing their grip, their spiritual, their power, the spiritual authority they have over the people. It's not about truth. It's not about spirituality, what's right. It's not about God's character. It's not about God's goodness. It's not even maybe, you know, about Jesus particularly. The problem is that they're afraid that they're going to lose their grip on the people. That's their all-consuming thing. And so in order to prevent that from happening, they're going to take giant risks here. They're going to wind up killing the Messiah. Yeah. But that's the thing. Their motivations are wrong. And it, this is a warning to us. We might say, well, yeah, those, those guys are bad guys. I'm glad I'm a good guy. Those guys are bad guys. But be careful, be careful, because but for the grace of God in our hearts, we will, there will be motivations that we have that are not good motivations. And when those motivations bump into God's truth, sometimes we will recoil and we could be in the same kind of space as, as the Pharisees. Oh, wait a minute. You say, no, I would never kill somebody. Well, maybe the Pharisees thought they would never kill somebody either. But you know what? Jesus got in the way of their ambitions. And I wonder how many of us are so pure and right that we couldn't be turned, that our motivations, we wouldn't kill to sustain certain motivations we might have. So may that not be true. May we have the God's Spirit leading us and preventing us from manifesting that. But I want to say to you that but for God's grace, I think we're all just like these Pharisees and scribes and these bad guys Without, without turning to God, we would be, we'd be a troop of murderers. Let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he can transform the most wayward heart if it's only willing to turn to him. Help us to turn to you, Lord. Help us so that our, our motivations don't get the best of us and we go in the absolute wrong pathway and become criminals like the people we're reading about. Help us, Lord, so that we are right. Forgive us. Transform us. Please, we plead for this in Jesus' name. Amen. He has the power. I don't. I pray he'll give me that power and change me from the inside out so that I'd be never the same ever again. God bless you today and give you his blessings today.